I mean, I agree with Shane Ross. None of these people who have served on the board of the FAI should be involved in any capacity going forward. But I always, I, I just have to, to question Ross. I mean, why he's coming out. He, he's been very, he's talking in very tough terms, kind of after the horse has bolted. And he's been sports minister since 2016. And I just felt he could have been a little bit more on top of this. Um, and maybe if he was, it wouldn't have taken the media to kind of open this can of worms. Um, so I'd just be a little bit, I kind of question his motives. I, I think he's doing it for political reasons. I'm not sure he really cares one way or another. Mm. Um, nothing he's kind of said or done prior to this suggests that he does. He might disagree with that. Mm. But, um, well, and what's that based on? Because I'm sure he does disagree with that. Well, we, we, we published a story a, a couple of months ago about Shane Ross's, um, he interjected on, after me, he had a private meeting with John Delaney in 2017. Sport Ireland had rejected a request by the FAI for an extra 195,000 euro in funding. Um, but then following a private meeting between Delaney and uh, Shane Ross, th that funding was, he actually overturned that decision and he suggested that they get it. So in 2018 then they got the money. Mm. Um, his own officials in his department were very unimpressed with the quality of Delaney's presentation and his argument. Uh, but Mr. Minister Ross decided that after the meeting that I'll give you this money. Now, we questioned him on that um, and he said the ministers duly advised Sport Ireland that they felt that the FAI women's national team, which is the, what was the funding was for, was worthy, was worthy of further consideration in the context of increased funding being available. To our knowledge, none of the other national governing bodies were aware of any extra funding being made available. So this extra funding just appeared out of the blue. There's, I've spoken to, to, to quite a few across the board, nobody knew anything about it. I would just suggest, you know, in this context, that Shane Ross probably knew that the FAI wasn't being run particularly well. Sport Ireland certainly knew. They were, there was annual requests for early drawdowns of funding that hadn't even been approved yet. Mm. They, it, whether they knew it was a basket case or not, I don't know, but they knew there was issues there. Mm. And I just think that a lot more could have been done in 2017, 2018 than was done. Because he's not here to defend himself, I should say we don't know what Shane Ross did or didn't know, but there is certainly an argument given his position. He should have known how well or otherwise the FAI was being run, and certainly he was on this station towards the latter end of last year, saying that he had never heard anything untoward from the grassroots against John Delaney, that he was very popular and doing a very good job. And as for his motivations, look, politicians are political. <laughs> you know, mm. the, F the FAI now is an open goal. And uh, mm. he's certainly, even post the Mark Ty revelations, you could argue he arrived publicly quite late. He did. He, did, he didn't do an inter interview on the matter yeah. for, for quite some time afterwards. And now he's swimming with the tide and, you know, fair play to him. And I hope he gets re-elected and all that. But I just felt a lot more could have been done.